So something that I've been kind of interested in are those invisible electromagnetic fields that we have surrounded ourselves as a technologically advanced society. So what I got was one of these uh, EMF meters. This one uh, tests a variety of uh, EMF signals from the stronger magnetic to the more subtle electric and uh, radio microwaves. For the most part I'm just going to be experimenting with the magnetic frequency and as you can see the noodle's kind of jumping around here a little bit. See I've got the GoPro camera attached to my head right now and uh, that happens when I move it closer to the GoPro camera. So that's what happens. Um, the, uh, the same is true actually as you can see right here this distance from my phone there's not a lot of not a lot of action not a lot of needle movement but then when I move closer to my phone you can see it starts to jump around quite a bit there right up to uh, about uh, six seven hundred give or take so I'm not actually sure what these numbers mean what's strong and what's not but as you can see as I'm walking through the house it's actually pretty low here I'm actually going to change it to a more sensitive range so now we're looking at this little, the secondary scale here so we can see with more sensitivity where things are at this uh, 0.2 to, to 5 scale the second one down and so you can see just the ambient level uh, magnetic yeah, uh, emissions are pretty pretty low, not, not too much happening here. But then when I get closer to something like the keyboard here I wanna rock! Yep, that's, that's me practicing my singing. Um, <laughs> uh, that was very accidentally tapped. Uh, but you can see here now the meter is, uh, let's see if I can get a little closer, meter's jumping around quite a bit here as I get close to the keyboard. Actually that's the GoPro also interfering. <clears throat> but also over here, right against the monitor, is actually quite a low level of, uh, of magnetic emission right on this monitor screen. <clears throat> so that's, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that too well, but that's probably a pretty good, good sign for those of you, for those of us who sit in front of our computers um, a lot. The actual monitor itself doesn't seem to be emitting too much on the magnetic uh, range. On the electric range uh, doesn't seem to be <clears throat> emitting much. Radio signal range, nothing, nothing much there. So that seems pretty safe frequency wise. According to this anyway, there may be some other factors that I'm not too sure about. Anyway, then moving over to <clears throat> this power socket over here, you're going to see some big action as that meter jumps around like crazy, pretty much all the way to the top of the scale. The same is probably true, yep, true over here of the power outlet. <clears throat> I've actually got this little um, plugged in portable hard drive here, which picks up uh, uh, mild magnetic emission and this laptop over here I think is well it's pretty much powered off so not too much happening there um, one thing I was curious about actually is the, the router over here I guess this is gonna have like uh, magnetic components in it so it's probably gonna yeah no it's not picking up too much actually I don't know if you can see that but Oh no, there we go. Now it's picking up something. That's jumping around quite a bit. Let's see. What do we got here on the electric frequency, radio frequency? Well, that's interesting. Now we're seeing the radio and the uh, microwave frequency jump around a bit. <clears throat> if you can see that pretty well, hopefully, you can see the that jumping around quite a bit so I'm thinking that's that radio microwave frequency there is the uh, broadcasting Wi-Fi signal perhaps maybe I don't know 
Let's take it away. Let's see if it still does that. Yeah, the GoPro is still causing interference. So, but, yeah, let's see. Does that jump around on its own? It does seem to be does seem to be quite active there. It is certainly jumping around, actually, yeah. If you can see that, I'm just trying to see what you can see here. Yeah, it's definitely jumping around over there. So that's interesting. That's picking up the radio and microwave frequency. Look at that. That's just going crazy right now. That's so interesting. So I wonder if that's true. Like that, uh, the uh, radio microwave doesn't really pick up anything against my phone. Radio microwave doesn't really pick up anything against my hard drive. I don't think it's going to pick up anything against... Yeah, it's not picking up anything against the power outlet. So that's cool. That's, uh, I'm, I'm going to guess that's detecting the, uh, the, the Wi-Fi broadcast, which is pretty neat. I wonder what else we can detect here. Feel kind of like a Ghostbuster. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. So that may have a. That one's actually got an electric. Um, an electric signal. Not too sure what the difference between the magnet's got a magnetic signal. It's got an electric signal. It doesn't have a radio signal. Not too sure what the difference between magnetic, electric, and radio signal is. I think I'll actually research that and then add this to the end. Add that to the end of this video because I find this kind of interesting. It's just good to know, right? That one actually has a magnetic signal. I wonder, wonder what I'm picking up here. Oh, I think I'm picking up the GoPro. That's what I'm picking up. Oh, I'm on magnetic, that's why. All right, I was actually looking for electric signals here. Electric, electric. Hmm. I've got an electric signal here. Um, so what is an electric signal? Definitely gonna have to research that. Appliances seem to have an electric signal. Do they have magnetic? Yep, they have magnetic too. What else? Anyway, that's kind of interesting. So, like I say, in terms of um, health and the mysterious potential effects of um, of, uh, of being exposed to our tech, our devices, all that sort of stuff, in that respect, you know, should we be sleeping with our phones <laughs> under our pillow? Maybe not. As you can see, the the uh, oh, let's uh, switch it to magnetic range here as you can see and I'm gonna keep this away from the GoPro so that doesn't interfere as you can see I get to about that range there before actually I'll switch to a more sensitive reading here so I get to about yeah pretty close not I mean we're pretty pretty close yeah um, sorry that's the GoPro again interfering but I would say it's like a foot away that this is emitting a magnetic field of measurable amount, anyway. So that's up to like 3 or 1.5 is what that's up to. So I would say as long as your phone's a few feet away, you're probably pretty, pretty you're probably far enough away from it not to worry too much about it. Um, what else? Does it have an electric signal? Not sure it does. Quite a strong one, actually. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, um, and in, yeah, in terms of of your Wi-Fi router, and of course I've got like ten signals from the neighbors all in the vicinity here, but um, it's not really registering anything in the radio frequency. So I'm thinking that you know at, at this distance, it's fairly weak. But of course, as I get directly close, directly onto the, uh, um, 
uh, uh, router here. Let's see, as I get directly onto the router, it starts bouncing around. And now, I'm not sure if that has anything to do with, like, the kind of activity I've got going on uh, with my router at the moment. It's possible. Like, right now, it's bouncing around two and three. I wonder what happened if I were to, uh, you know, start a download or something to start streaming YouTube. Let's see. Whatever, let's do this. So now we're streaming a bit of YouTube. Let's see, we're bouncing around two and three before. And we are st still bouncing around two or three by the looks of it. Actually, we're bouncing around three, four, five. Three, four, five. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Three, four, five, six, seven. I think that increased it a little bit, actually. Let's, let's turn that off and see if it goes back down to two and three. It's kind of bouncing around like crazy right now. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. So I don't actually know if that actually affected. Um, what's going on with the Wi-Fi signal there at all, additional data streaming. It may be that it's just always connected to the, to the machine regardless of data actually being transmitted from the internet, I'm not too sure. Oh, I got the Netgear router, wow, look at that one. The Netgear, Netgear router is actually a much more powerful router and it just so happens to be uh, sitting right here. When I get close to that, man that gets strong, that gets all the way up to 100. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see, where am I looking? Yeah, it gets all the way up to 100 on the Netgear router. So that one's clearly a much more powerful um, unit as it is renowned to be. Netgear makes a, a mighty strong router that has a lot of range. So that would that that's actually pretty consistent. So in in the difference between the uh, the modem here and the router there. Um, Come to think of it, if this is picking up, this is the actual modem. And would the modem itself, without the router, be doing, be, be, uh, be, uh, have a radio wave signal, I wonder. That seems weird, actually, now that I think of it. Maybe it does, actually, hang on a sec. Now that I've moved it away from the Netgear, maybe I was registering the wrong thing there. It picks up a tiny bit, a tiny bit of, of, uh, activity there. I'm letting it a little further away. It picks up a tiny bit of activity. Or does it? Come to think of it, I think it might be registering the net gear and not this at all. Yeah, I could be it. Not a hundred percent, hundred percent sure. Interesting. This little guy is sure bouncing around a lot, though. It definitely is proximity based to the router, because I move that away it entirely, stops bouncing, get it closer, it starts bouncing, get it very close. Starts bouncing like crazy. Okay, so I must have just been actually in the uh, couple foot range of the Netgear router here, and uh, that's what I thought I was reading over here on the on the modem. That's actually just the electrical component, which uh, connects the uh, cable connection to the router, which then broadcasts the signal. So that was my oversight there. My bad. Um, but that's interesting. So that says that the Netgear router actually has a measurable range probably within like almost three feet almost three feet a little not pretty weak at three feet but still it goes up to three feet so um, if you're using a computer and you want to keep yourself uh, out of the sort of immediately registerable range on your router three feet minimum you know four or five feet would be a nice safe distance let's see what else I think that's actually pretty pretty much what most people use for tech.